Meanwhile, at the Legion of Dwarves... We finally go see what all that rock smushing's about. Hey, a door! Eh, tent, okay. Great helm! Eh, that is pretty great. Worm killer, same stats as the rune blade and the werebuster. Good against dragons. Ooh, an ether, a potion, mithril mail. Awesome. Tell me more about this mithril mail. Well, in that case, since it's lighter than chain mail, believe it or not, <laughs> and uh, since it boosts Ceres's defense, she gets to overtake Sana in line. Finally. <laughs> hey, you have a different colored sprite than the rest of the dwarves. You must be important. Yeah, nitro powder. You're building a canal? That sounds cool! Wait, but if you blow the wall open and there's water on the other side, aren't we going to be flooded? Oh, you and your Scottish accent. I don't even know what that fourth word means there. Flee! Flee as fast as your little legs can carry you. Boom. Meanwhile, on that little isthmus, isthmus, I hate that word. That is an isthmus, isn't it? Or is an isthmus a man, uh, a man-made, whatever, I hate, uh, geography or whatever. Me too! Crazy Scottish dwarf man. And now, the rest of the world is open to us. It's The world is our oyster. Or possibly our pitu. Hey, they did do a Let's Play of Final Fantasy. I feel accomplished. That one I honestly didn't mean to make until I said oyster. And then it was magical. I would like my ship. You are not my ship, you are wolves. I can't even ride on you. Well, actually, they're wargs, so I probably could. But semantics. You! My boat is plenty big enough. Levels? Hit points? Ceres don't need no stinking hit points. Ooh, Life Spring Grotto. This must be the water equivalent of the Earth Gift Shrine. You're a mermaid! Ah, how sweet. Whatever. Hey, a town! With a conveniently placed port! Let's roll. Melmond. Huh. First order of business? Did they actually check out the equipment shops? <laughs> hey, look! Long swords! Did you think we'd be seeing those? <laughs> Took long enough, didn't it? Uh, still off all the excess equipment, except I would hold on to the uh, Werebuster, Rune Sword, and uh, Worm Killer, just in case you want a little advantage later on. Zach, why aren't you selling the power staff? Because I want to make a point of it. Chain mail. Okay. Now the power staff. 
it, it it's an okay weapon. I mean, it's got less accuracy than a dagger. It's got decent attack power, but its main point, it sells for 6,172 gil. Come on. Decision made easy. To the armor shop. Well, as tempting as the knight's armor is, no. I'm just going to pick up a silver armlet for, uh, Xander. Because he was itching for it. So, Rush, can you use level 5 magic? Not yet. That's okay by me. White magic first. Let's roll. This is the first level where I actually had to make decisions for what magic I wanted to buy. As tempting as Diaga is, as a, or Diaga is as a spell, life. Life is possibly the most important spell right now. Also, Thiraga. I wish I could use teleport, but I can't. Not yet. And Scourge I'd get, but I don't like instant death spells at all. So, let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. Earth Crystal. Okay. I've stopped by every shop in this town. Shut up. Vampire. Hmm. Yes, yes, restore the crystals to whatever. You, speak to me. Oh, wise man named Sada, huh? What? You're everywhere! Oh, sorry, I just said Secret of Mana flashbacks. A ship float in the sky? You're crazy. Oh, you know what? You people, and you're in my wayness. Huh. Maybe I should find a gem to appease this giant fellow. Dr. Oon? Inconceivable! He used that word once. It probably means what he thinks it, thinks it means. Mm. So the vampire in the cavern of Earth did it, huh? Yeah, might as well. To the south on a peninsula called the Devil's Tale. Well, okay. I mean, You know what? They gave us a clear destination. Let's roll. Oh. Um, hold up. Oh yes, look, a map. Um, give me the enlarged map. This peninsula kind of looks like a devil's tail. Let's get rolling. You know, I just realized something. You know, aside from the fact that I just set foot on a new continent and I have the same old enemies. Yeah, let's stay at the end. Hiking around in the, uh... Marsh Cave and whatnot kind of gave me, uh... Pain. <laughs> anyway. Ooh, a bunch of shadows. You know what that means? I got a preemptive strike. You know what that means? Shadows, weak against just a little bit of light. Yay! Wargs. More like lol. It's like they just barbecue themselves. Make them stop, viewers. Yeah, this must be the place. Always save your game before setting foot into some place that's dangerous. Anacondas, I've dealt with your kind before. Besides, I have Poisona. You mean nothing to me. Cobras, really? Whatever. And in here... 1975, I'll take it. Cavern of Earth, more like Cavern of Snakes. <laughs> you 
Yeah, stick to level 3 spells if you can help it. I mean, if something's really strong, feel free to throw out a Firaga. But keep in mind, it's twice the magic point cost of uh, Fira. Let's see. Ooh, a Minotaur. Time to kill it with swords. Now this left area is, uh, I, I believe it was nicknamed the Hall of Giants, or I guess in this translation it would be Ogres, but uh, it's a one random battle per step sort of deal, and you know, you can make a lot of experience and money that way, but you know, it's also kind of easy to die. As such, I'm not going to do it. I mean, you know, if I'm in desperate need of grinding, maybe. But, uh... You dropped a knife. I hate you. Ooh, two Minotaurs. Are you gonna drop a knife? Ooh, treasure. Okay. What? Earth Elemental. Oh, hey, that's not healthy. I did not realize you'd be so powerful. There can be only one! Okay. That worked out. <laughs> hey, hit points for Ceres. She broke 200. I'm so happy. Xander, ever inching forward. I do so love the animation for Hilara. More of you Anaconda fellows. Little did the enemies know, I brought fire. Little do the Cobras know, I don't need fire. I can just look at them and they'll fall over. Let's see, now down here... Ooh, 880, nice. You again! I know how to deal with your kind. And that would be all the treasure on the first floor. Now, keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times, except for slaying the monsters. And we can make our way to our next attraction. The second floor of doom! Yes. You know, these bats are popping up everywhere. I'm starting to sense the theme. Bats equal evil. Wait, were they somewhere that there was no evil in? Let's see... Chaos Shrine. Yeah, evil. Garland. Um, Marsh Cave. Evil. Um, let's see, what else was there? Oh, yeah, yeah, the Western Keep. Astos was there, certainly evil. Um, here. Yeah, I think these bats are evil. I think that must, that must be the pro. Ah, Eat electric death. Ooh, wonder what's down here. It must be worth it. I'm getting sick of your face. Levels up. Nothing too special. 5,000 gil! That's more than enough to... Leather shield, really? No, I'm sorry, I'm just... Leather shield? Really? How? Why? 
sense. You don't make any. You really think I wouldn't have had a shield for my warrior at this point? I mean, come on, game. Ooh, Hilgaius. I wonder if they're strong. Reasonably. That's right, Ceres. You show them the way out. They are worth a buttload of money. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, the equipment menu. Warebuster. Just to see if it really does fast forward through the damage total so I can see if it provides a noticeable bonus. <laughs> One fifty six. Dealing more damage than Lulu. Okay. There is definitely something to be said for keeping those uh specialty swords. Oh right, by the way, um equip long sword. Let's roll. I tire of this. Mortal Technique, Thundara Fist. <sighs> All right. Ooh. Sleeping bag. Eh. That only restores health. Nowhere near as good as the tent or the cottage. Nothing compares to the cottage. Well, except maybe an inn, but, you know, it's an inn. Come on. Nothing up here. So many ogres. Nothing over here. Should have just cast Diara. Diara magics. You know how it is, viewers. Ooh, a door. Oh, you fools. You've let me get a preemptive strike against you. Ooh, gold needle. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'll take it. Definitely worth that side tracking. 3,400 gil. Also worth anything. Except not a level 5 magic spell. That's conspicuously uh, 4,000. Oh, Ceresa slipped to the bottom of the pack in uh, health again. That's okay, she makes up for it in spirit and awesome. And cookies. Death. Oh. You again! I... Do you feel lucky, punks? Hmm. This certainly won't end well. This must be the vampire. You and your emo poetry. Presto change -o. Oh yeah? It's a good thing I'm not a mere mortal. Oh yeah, by the way, Firaga is your f holy crap damage. Whatever. That haste got off before Lulu. I am so happy. So happy. <laughs> Two hit kill. 2,000 gil. Worth it. Ooh, a star ruby. Didn't we hear something about a star ruby back in Melmond? 
Perhaps. Perhaps. Oh god, why? Viraga! Huh. Well, we've defeated the vampire, but the rot in the earth still seems to be going. Catch you next time in Melmon, viewers, when we figure out what exactly the hell is going on here. This is the White Man 1992, signing off.